The evidence is there that in the last 10 to 20 years, there are more extreme events, weather events occurring. There's no doubt that our vulnerability to these types of extreme weather and climate events is increasing. Well, weather and climate affect every person's life almost every day. It affects their property, it can disrupt the economy, so it can have a huge impact. The 2012 drought has been a very uh, a serious event. Uh, in fact, at this present time, over 62% of the United States is in severe or extreme drought. As we look at climate models, the prevalence of drought, the, the uh, temperatures and the conditions that lead to drought are going to get only worse in the years ahead. And so we need to prepare for that eventuality and the impact that it might have on things like food production in the breadbasket of, of the United States. NOAA also has uh, responsibilities that are associated with coastal resources and fishery resources. Part of the reason that we're seeing an increase in disaster costs along coastlines is the increased population and the increased property values, as well as the changing storm patterns in which they themselves are, are much more severe events. In the case of Katrina, you've had major disruption of commerce and other businesses and activities. So there's been quite a range of impacts from impacting the natural environment to impacting the communities. Our ocean temperatures are changing, the acidity is changing, and those have dramatic effects on the natural resources that live in them and the communities that depend on them. The fish stocks are moving northward to track the cooler temperatures and the cooler waters that they need to survive. So if the ocean continues to increase in acidity, uh, it could affect our entire food web in the ocean and therefore our, our uh, food security in this country and around the world. NOAA can help society improve its resilience to changes in weather and climate in several ways, but primarily by providing the information that people need about what to expect. Rising sea level, uh, increased temperatures, great increased probability for drought or other severe storms. NOAA can act as a honest broker of information, a trusted source of information to uh, stakeholders ranging from public officials to businesses to the general public on what to anticipate now and in the years ahead. At uh, NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, our forecasters predict and monitor climate routinely uh, by delivering products and services to the nation and the global community for the protection of life and property and for the economic prosperity of the nation. The Climate Prediction Center monitors both short-term and long-term drought impacts. We work with the cities not on developing their plans, we ensure that the plans are developed in such a way that they can take advantage of the data, the soil moisture measurements, the seasonal forecast, the longer term trends, the measurements of uh, heat conditions, the impacts on who, which communities are impacted, where and why. Those are done completely in a collaborative setting with the people who are impacted. One of the ways that uh, we are useful to the taxpayer besides providing usually quite good weather forecasts and climate projections is that we also provide a, a range of, of what we call technical tools such as a coastal inundation and sea level rise viewer that's uh, on the web and, and readily accessible and usable even by folks who are not web savvy so that they can begin to visualize the extent of flooding under different storm regimes or under a changing sea level scenario. What's the most critical importance of extremes is that they allow us an opportunity to learn and to build a collaborative framework between research and management that lets us reduce the impacts of the next event. Climate is changing and each of us need to adapt to those changes. Human beings are enormously creative and adaptive species. And with the scientific understanding that we have, I have no doubt that we can, through a combination of adaptation and mitigation, deal with the, the problems that, that climate change is going to present to us.